Well, it's another beautiful day at Seth. I don't think there's any flying going on. The good news is it's going to be like this all the way through the event. So we, <laughs> we can have wet legs for the rest of the week. But you know what? We're keeping it awesome. <laughs> having fun inside this giant, amazing tent. We've got the Multi RC guys here. What's your name? Mark. Mark from Multi RC. What's up, man? What you got in your hand? Uh, this is a 130 millimeter A tail prototype that we're working on, um, keeping it under the 250 gram. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, no FAA registration numbers on this one? Correct. And the great part about <laughs> that is that it's a quad, not an airplane, so wind really isn't an issue with that little thing. It's, it's really not. It's got forward thrust built into the Yeah, uh, look at the these motors. Like, these motors are like warped or something, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> and, and the printed uh, mounts actually don't bolt on, if you can see that. They just slide on. Because of the TPU, uh, the, the stretching properties of it, we just have a little inset on either side of the boom and it just holds on there. That it, is cool. It's hard to take off there if you want to. So uh, this one will end up going home with uh, Crash. He's already claimed that <laughs> nice. as soon as he's seen it. So uh, I, I'll end up sending him a, a carbon frame once I get home and get him cut out. And Jason says you can't break the bull nose props and at that weight, I bet you can't break anything. Three inch, yeah. Three inch bull nose. Yeah, yeah you will yeah, not break those props break. no matter what. Lane was able to break one uh, because he put it in and, and held full throttle uh, on a rock. Nice. So eventually well, he wore the one only down. Way you can do it. Um, so yeah, that was that one's been fun. Uh, that's cool. then, a sexy little quad. And what's this, the, uh, where can one, we find this? I, right now you can. Uh, you'll be able to find it on multirc.com. Multirc.com. There's the logo. This little guy, we, we had to put a, uh, a Man, that's special good antenna on it because Carl was flying at a uh, line of sight. And uh, when he got out to the opposite side of the field, down below the tree line, he kind of lost it. You know what would be <laughs> awesome is if there was an LED in the ball, so that it really... Yeah. Did a... It's, um... That is wicked looking. It's got a very unique profile. It's a 3D printed sidewall yep, there. Yeah, 3D printed skirt, it 3D looks printed like a camera mount. Pickup. <laughs> and, uh, the, um, the, the goal was to have something you, you could build like an H-Quad, because they're a little easier to fit gear. Um, but the, was the uh... It, it does fly fly like true X because uh, front to back, it's 177 millimeters, and side to side it's exactly 177 millimeters. Okay. It does not look like it when you look at it. Right. It looks long. Right. And it, it has a very unique profile going through the air. It's extremely fast for the little motors that we've got on it. And lots of room for gear. It's all. There'll, there'll end up being more gear, uh, more room for gear rather. Uh, we, we're working with uh, Hardik. We're going to get a, a PDB made for the bottom of this ah, cool. um, that has a spot for a micro minimal SD and a spot for uh, 12 volt and 5 volt close oh, okay um, yeah it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun ride we've been running satellites off our uh, spectrum so we're we're receiverless right. so you just have a sat plug and then no re no receiver and just a little I fly the uh, FR Sky Tyrannus, uh -huh. so I, I can run some pretty small uh, right. receivers in the inside. And if you're running the small, uh, we're gonna we're gonna do better cutouts on the top to allow to uh, the ability to get to your yeah. ETX a little bit easier cool. to be able to change uh, change channels. We, we printed this at 45, um, a 45 degree oh, yeah, bulkhead, yeah. Yeah. so that if you're coming through a gate and you catch it. It'll swing you up, but it won't hook the gate. Gotcha. You know, it does not affect you. Know, and it also makes the uh, plane of the antenna straight up exactly. when you're flying fast forward flight, exactly. which is right. really helpful. Yeah, I would think this by itself would be a big seller, and then I would think that this ball would also be a big seller. The, the ball is just a, a matter of function. We just grabbed something, stuck it on the antenna, painted it orange. Just yeah, ball just ball? so that yeah, just so that Carl could see it. I want one of those. <laughs> well, I, want, <laughs> I want a ping pong. Ball. Start the, selling them. The, the TPU is actually quite quite flexible. You can see it in the, the battery tray. We're making a, we're gonna, this is a beginning prototype. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to actually make them with feet. Uh, but this stuff is quite yeah. uh, quite flexible and strong. And we want to be able to protect the battery on the bottom. We don't you come in and land, you, you hit a rock, you're, you know, that's not good. So well, there's always new and cool stuff at Seth. This year's no different, so you'll be able to check these things out at multirc.com. Lots of other racing goodies and drone stuff. So we'll let you guys get back to your prototyping madness. We'll see you Thank later. You.